Did Coach Storms design the, the layout and I guess the course that, that they go through, or how did that come about? Well, uh, to be honest, it's something I've been kind of a part of for the last uh, I guess like 14 or 13 years, and uh, it truly started here on this practice field. And, uh, you know, my my former head coach, uh, Coach Graham, he, when he was a high school coach at Allen High School, he, he came out to uh, watch Coach Bowden and, and, uh, and this this team for a week. And he watched them. He watched their old, old school mat drills and what they did and how they did it. And that's that's where you get the edge. And that's 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 where the the, the mindset and the approach comes. Obviously, we've we've continued to, to develop what we do and, and tie things to this team and what we want to see. But uh, the core of it started here with, with one of the. the Greatest, uh, greatest programs in the country with, that was the most consistently successful program in the history of college football. And that's, that's, where, we, that's where we got it from, and it was uh, it's pretty special to bring it back. So Dick, now the, the coaches are leading. The obvious thing is you want the players to eventually be the, 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 the leaders. Is there a hopeful timetable of when that happens, or is it just one of those that happens when it happens? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to occur when, when the words equal the actions. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I think... Everybody wants to push leadership, so who can get up and give a great speech? It's, leadership is not about a speech. It's about a consistent, it's consistent action, you know, day in and day out to the standard, right? And then if we can focus on ourselves and continue to push and continue to, to, uh, to be that example, then when it's time to say something, then people might actually listen. So um, it's every day. If I can come out and, and, uh, and be a leader to the best of my ability and these these young men get a chance to see that, and I probably have a better, uh, better chance for them to respond the way that that's necessary for us to be successful. But it's the same that goes for each and every one of them. Do you guys actually have to like coach up the managers on how they do what they do? Uh, there's every I yeah, see uh, managers are my favorite group in the in the thing. I mean, we got my, my pit crews working pretty good on those mats, right? You get a, you get a, you know some, some big bodies are sweating all over the place, and uh, between every rep, you know, and that's that's a great example. Is I mean, those guys they go in there, they got a passion. They got a purpose. I mean, they're trying to help do their job to help this football team move forward. That's why everybody involved in, is important. Everybody involved has a role and a responsibility. Not everybody can coach, but everybody can make an impact. And that's that's what we're trying to, to push when it comes to our academics, when it comes to uh, you know, our ath athletic training, strength and development, the managers that are helping set things up. I mean, we want this to be the standard of, of, of how we operate every single day. So are you watching everybody else, not just the players? Oh, it's a, yeah, everybody gets evaluated, right? I mean, I evaluate myself. I mean, every day when I get done, I think of the areas that I, that I, that I can be more consistent, that I can be better. Uh, the coaches, you know, that was, you know, there were some things today that we have to be better as a coaching staff with and, you know, in, in our instruction, how we're leading the players, the tempo of what we're, how we're operating. It's all part of our process, and it always has to improve. When you as a head coach, you being that active and that vocal in the drills, is that a conscious choice or is that just how you're wired? You know what I mean? Like, are you doing that so they see it, or is that just no, how you are? There's, there's everything from you see for me is going to be who I am, and uh, I love what I get to do. I'm, I'm in coaching because I want to impact. I want to be able to, to help inspire. Uh, I want to be able to teach. I want to make sure that, that everybody's kind of building and pushing in the same direction because you know it, it's we've got guys that are that are that are in the program right now that are that way more than they've ever weighed, or stronger than they've ever been, or working at a level that is that is extremely impressive. Um, responding to that success and some of the positive gains, and that's harder sometimes than responding to adversity because you get complacent, you get comfortable, you feel like you've arrived. So that's why everybody's got to push, and uh, you know I'm I'm here to help help those guys in in that process. Coach practice starts up March seven. Uh, what's the, between now and then? What's the schedule? What do you guys hope to accomplish in the next couple uh, of weeks? It, it, it's good. Now we've got you know this, you know, signing days passed. Uh, you know I gave the co coaches a, a couple of days around the weekend. It's been a it's been a constant go since uh, since last July for, for a lot of us. And uh, yeah, so it was good it was good uh, to, to get a couple of days with a long weekend. But now it's now it's back to, to, to all of our folks and developing our players. Um, you know we're going to be able to get some time in the meet, in meeting rooms within our eight hours. We're going to be able to uh, continue. To, to ramp up uh, your tour of duty, we're going to go to two two, uh, two um, workouts a week with that, which is going to be good. I'm going to get probably uh, into some uh, position specific drills of changing direction and making sure that we're working the agility aspect of what we're doing at uh, at each position. But uh, you know, I'm, it's about continuing to build the mind. And at the end of the day, it's just you know every opportunity we can be in front of our players, we can continue to build those uh, relationships, we can inspire them to be better, and then it's it's a it's a day that's heading in the, in the right direction. 
I know you guys have a couple practices before spring break coming up. Is that by choice, or is that just because the way the schedule yeah, worked well, out that way? More the way the schedule, okay. the schedule rolls. I mean, I think it's a it's a good schedule because of you know how early we start in uh, in spring classes. You know, we get we started back on January sixth, and I think our first time that we were in here was that that first Friday, and so. Uh, there's been there's been a good amount of work, so we're going to get a, a good winter conditioning uh, session with Coach Storms. I think you can already start seeing some of the changes in our guys' bodies. Uh, you, as you can see today, I mean, we work them. So, I mean, we're working to build that conditioning level so that we can maximize the 15 practices that we have. But, you know, it's not just a physical conditioning, it's a mental conditioning. That's something that, that, that we're going to continue to work on. Uh, but we will get the three practices before spring break, which will get a, a nice introduction, and then we'll come back after spring break and, and really roll through it uh, you know, all the way to, I think it's April 19th with the 18th being spring game. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right, nice Thank you, Coach.